It's like I'm getting lightheaded. What that mean? I'm about to die. But I kept saying, like, sir, this this the address? This the address, sir? And he looked at me like. <laughs> so I'm like, what the? Is this the address? He said. So I'm looking up there like. Is that address? Why you put this shit in English? So yeah, y'all, the total was, I hate to say this. I hate to say the total because it's like, it's killing me coming next month. If my weight has not changed, then he gonna have to give me a counseling. And then after that, it's gonna be separation papers. So what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So yeah, in today's video, it's a little bit different because I'm going to go get something done to my body. I need it. I don't know. I just wanted to share this moment with y'all. It's like I'm getting really hot, and it's like I'm getting lightheaded. What that mean? I'm about to die. So I gotta like wait till. Damn, I can't keep moving. I'm moving too much. I gotta wait till the um thing is like completely empty. And yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all more about it when I get home. Look at my hair. And if I tell y'all how much I spent, boy, I feel so broke right now. They gave me like this little bed area. And that's the window to the outside. And here's me. Y'all, I got a long way to go. A long way to go. Also, y'all, they do a lot of cosmetic surgery here. Just saying, I might be getting a little some some done before I leave. We gonna see. I would like to get to know if you could be the kind of girl that you can get down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. And if I don't let you know, then I won't be for real. I could be wrong, but I feel like something. So I don't know what it was, but my taxi driver, y'all, let me tell y'all. My appointment was originally at 4.30. So I kind of was a little late, but I felt like if my, my driver was driving where he was supposed to have been driving and actually got me to the right destination, we would have been there at 4.30. So this man that dropped me off 10 minutes away from where I'm supposed to be at. So I'm like, man, this, this, this you sure this is it? Like, I had to move y'all now because my camera was just not acting right. But I kept saying, like, sir, this this the address? This the address, sir? And he looked at me like. <laughs> so I'm like, what the? 
So I'm like, what the? Is this the address? He said. So I'm looking up there like, this address? Then he go, yeah. I'm sorry, but he, they they don't they can't speak English, so he was doing all that little extra shit. So I'm just like, okay, let me get out. So I remember my my sergeant told me I would see a subway. So I saw a subway. No, no, no. Did I see a subway? Yeah. yeah. I saw something. I saw something in a little coffee place, but Dunkin' Donuts. So, man, take, to take out the shoes, that was the wrong place. I had to walk around Korea trying to find me a taxi. And y'all, it took me about 30 minutes, no, 25 minutes to find a taxi. 20, 25 minutes to find a taxi. And once I found a taxi, um, I had to like wave one down. Cause you know, like here, you got a taxi line, you can get in a taxi, you don't gotta go looking for one that come. But this one I had to like go away. I'm to my, I'm in the middle of Korea, y'all. I don't know where I'm at. No, I don't know where I'm at. So found the taxi. The taxi took me to the right place. And um I went in there. They talked to me. Um they talked to me about the program and what it was and what was fit best for me. At first she was gonna let me choose like what program I wanted, but then when I told her like what my goal was, I'm trying to lose at, at the most. Let me read my paper to y'all. So before we get into that, so yeah, y'all, this is the bag that they gave me. And inside the bag, it got a little gift in there. As she said, it was a gift. Anyway, so the gift that she gave me was a freaking cup. A cup, guy. Yeah, I think it's a cup. A rice bowl measurement cup. <laughs> Y'all see the measurements on the side? With their name on it. I mean, it's cute, I guess. Since I paid all that money, you gotta give me something. But they could have given me something better than this. But okay. So all right, y'all. So first thing what happened when I went in there? They took my blood pressure. They took uh, what else? My my weight. They did the, my body mass. Uh, everything about my body. Everything about my muscles. Uh, it tells you. It told them everything about my life, y'all. So here's my paper of everything that's dealing with me. Um, as of right now. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all my weight. I might not look like it, but I am this weight, okay? Um, I'm 177. Woo. I never wanted to tell y'all my weight. I never wanted to tell y'all. Since I told y'all that I gotta lose weight now. I got no choice. So my weight was 177. Um, I'm 5'3", so that is definitely overweight. So my goal is to lose, well, for them, they want me at 141. Weighing 141. Y'all, that's a lot of pounds lost. Like, oh my gosh. So anyways, um, I have to lose 36 pounds. And I'm on this program. Well, I put myself in this program for, uh, y'all know I'm leaving Korea soon in January. So I, I put myself on this program from today until the last week of um, December. So I got basically two months of this program. So this body mass is basically telling it hurt everything about me. So like for instance, um, my my legs, like the fat that's in my legs or the muscle that's in my legs, uh, it tells like the, the body fat mass, the BMI, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing it. Percent body fat, I'm, I'm pushing it. And I mean, to me y'all, people say I'm thick. I, I'm not big on being thick, but I like my, I, honestly, I like, I like my lower half of my body. I do. I don't want to get rid of it. I want to keep it. But the, t the, the upper half is like, and I had a baby y'all. So it's like that I had a C-section. So that little part that's there is like, we got to do something with that sis. And I just, I just don't like it. And I let myself go just a tad bit y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I did. I did. I really did. But I feel like my body could be more better. Um, I have a lot of thighs and yeah, so I need to gain the muscle in my in my legs and stuff too. So I have a lot to do. I do. Um, the calories intake it told them how much I've been been eating. It told them everything. Just just an estimate of pretty much everything, if not right on. So the program that I chose, you guys. I'm gonna just tell y'all. the paper. So I chose the IV. Um, you can choose different types of diet plans that you want to choose. As y'all seen in the video before that I was showing y'all like before and after pictures of people. So basically you can choose different diet plans that you want. And based off her and what I told her what I wanted to do. I told her basically that I wanted to be at my goal weight. The program that she was trying to get me to do was the shots. And the shots was like 
it works but it was like a little bit longer so the IV it, go, it just go you know what I'm saying go straight in me you know so it's like it's working it's working as of right now as we speak so I chose so she chose that for me she told me that'll be better a better fit for me so the IV it is um so every Monday every week I have to see her every week y'all every week and that's also good for me because I can get to see my progress you know what I'm saying and that's gonna make me even work harder like stop playing with me so yeah so every Monday I go in to see her or see them and get the IV done and yeah that's how that works also so let's get into the 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 prescription so the prescription y'all let me tell y'all I done spent a lot of money today and I did not plan on doing that I thought I mean I knew I was gonna spend a grill but not like that much anyways so the prescription so these are key as well so along with the IV I have pills uh, let's get into this so a.m. these are the a.m. pills so I forgot what time oh it's just like early in the morning on the empty stomach so I guess when I wake up for PT I can take these the, the a.m. pills so these are supposed to be taken on the empty stomach also you gotta drink lots of lots of water because this is this is a lot so I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what these pills are Stay tuned, y'all, because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all at the end why I did this. So this is the list of like all the pills that I have. Um, so I'm just gonna tell y'all the ones that I do have. My bad, y'all. So the white one that y'all see in here, I don't know if y'all can see. Um, this that is the appetite suppressant, so it makes me not hungry. So the green one is thermogenics. I don't know if y'all can really see, but I'm gonna show y'all up close. And then I have one for um, to block absorption of oil and food. So that's pretty much what all of these are. So appetite suppressant, um, carbohydrate uh, inhibitor, and I have thermogenics, and it's like more of a caffeine, well, green tea, pretty much. Um, and then the other one is to block like any oily food that I get, like it just completely block it, you know, like like birth control blocks the nut, you know, pretty much. I just wanted to give y'all an example. All right, so yeah. That's what that is. So I have to take these. So it's, ooh, Jesus, y'all. It's about two weeks of medication, I believe. So I think this is. I think this will last me up to two weeks, supposed to. So I'm gonna take these every morning, and then these blue ones. I have a blue one in here too. So the afternoon one, I have pretty much all of them the same. That's what that's for. And then the main course, the main course peel, the main course peel, y'all. These, these are the um, fat burner. So this burns fat. So you wanna take this, shit I forgot. Why you put this shit in English? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I think it said two times a day. So y'all, these are the fat burner pills. This is what it's gonna like do the do. You know, get the job done. Okay, Um, I'm gonna start like actually this whole thing tomorrow. So in the morning I have to not eat breakfast, um, which is gonna be so hard, y'all. Y'all know breakfast is like my mood. Like breakfast is, breakfast is. I can't have, I can't fuck shit without breakfast. So we gonna have to just not eat breakfast. I mean, I'm gonna drink some green tea, or he said black coffee. But I, who, what the fuck is black coffee? That shit is disgusting. Um, now I'm pretty sure y'all don't know how much this costs because it was not free at all. So. Let's get into it. So yeah, y'all, the total was about five something. About six. I hate to say this. I hate to say the total because it's like, it's killing me. Do y'all don't understand? It, it's killing me. Damn, it's killing me. But it was for a good cause. Now let me tell you why I did this. Yes, I could have lost the weight naturally, but I don't have time to do that. So this is why I did what I did. So <clears throat> y'all don't know, but my career was at stake. Nobody's fault but mine. It's my fault. I'm not blaming nobody. But, um, as I'm going to say to y'all, my hiding weight, I failed like two times in a row. But every time I went to hiding weight, um, I was losing weight. So it was like I was losing like an inch. I was losing another inch when I went back. But my, my weight was not going nowhere. So my first sergeant was, well, acting first sergeant, told me that if coming next month, if my weight has not changed, then he's going to have to give me a counseling. And then after that, it's going to be separation papers. So, yeah, y'all, like, my my weight is interfering with my career. So, 
of course I thought about doing this I thought about this for a good minute and you know I was just like okay yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do it because this is my career like I understand I can go lose weight and and make it happen naturally yeah I can but this was my choice I want people to respect my choice so in two months I leave Korea and I cannot go to my I don't want to go to my next duty station flag on top of that my career will be messed up y'all get what I'm saying yeah I mean I just I just needed to do this um I talked to my granny she was I was like ma I really don't want to pay this money should I do this she's like do you want to stay in the army I was like, dang. See, now if I had like three months left in Korea, I would probably did this naturally. So yeah, that is the reason why I got all of this done. I had no choice. Well, I do have a choice, but in my mind, I have no choice but to get this stuff done. So this is what I did. I'm pretty sure I made this money back. This ain't nothing but chop change. <laughs> it's chop change, y'all. But I'm gonna make it back, I'm gonna make it back. I just wanted to get that out and tell you guys what I was doing. I seen some of y'all, I posted a picture with my IV, and I seen some of y'all like, are you okay? Are you good? Yes, y'all, I'm good. I just, I'm in a little process now. If you are in Korea and you're interested and you're trying to lose weight, and you don't want to be at stake like me, you know, be at risk. Make, I mean, yes, do it naturally, but ain't nothing wrong with a little boost. Yeah, okay, what well, I'm about to say. You, if you can pay for it, if you can afford it, get it. It's yours. I will be taking out every time I go to the place to get another IV done, which is every Monday. I will be taking y'all with me. It's now getting cold outside, so it's gonna be so cold. All right, y'all, so that's the end of my video. Hopefully y'all liked and loved it. I'm about to get my life together. I gotta go to PT in the morning. I'm about to do a crazy workout. Matter of fact, I'm vlogging in the morning. I might, yeah, I'm gonna I'm vlog in the morning for PT. And, yeah, we gonna be working out crazy, and I'm gonna be taking my, my first dose of my pills, and we gonna see what the fuck going on with. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye, y'all.